Hello people and welcome to follow internet. I am Numan Islam. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Windows 7 ISO file on VMware Workstation Pro. Open your VMware Workstation. Click on create a new virtual machine. You can get this widget, virtual machine widget, recommended typical. Go with that. Click on next new virtual machine wizard you can check i will install the operating system later click on it and click next our guest operating system microsoft windows version windows 7 64 bit click on it windows 7 64 bit Click on next. Our virtual machine name Windows 7 64 bit, or you can name it anything. House. You can select location from where you want to run your virtual machine. I want to go with click on make new folder Windows 7 hit enter this is Windows 7 folder we are created now click on it hit OK now you can see our location changed on drive D folder name win-7 now click on next click on next with default click on customize hardware memory you can select up to 4 GB click on processors number of processors it will take two virtualization engine click on it virtualize intel bt emdb click on new cd dvd setup now click on use iso image file click on browse you can download your iso file from google or you can comment below I will provide my ISO files. This is our Windows 7 ISO file. Click on it. Hit open. Now click on close. Hit finish button. This is our Windows 7 virtual machine. Now you can power on this virtual machine, click on it. Starting Windows installing, it will take few minutes, you need patient. After getting this pop up, language English, time and currency format, you can select it, depends on your country. I want to go with English India. Click on next. Click on install now button. After getting this license terms condition pop up, Check it. Hit next. After getting this prompt, which type of installation do you want? 
I want to go with custom advance click on it now click on next our installation almost complete don't scare about it your virtual machine will several time can restart for running this process After a long time, you can get this pop up. You need to enter your username, our username Numa. Now click on next. You need to create your password for this operating system. Retype your password. You need to provide password hint. Now click on next. This pop up talking about product key. If you don't have your product key, you can skip it. Don't scared about it. Just click on skip. After getting this pop up, click on use recommended setting. Click on it, use recommended setting. Click on next with default time setting. This is pretty much okay for me. After getting this pop up, select your computer's current location. I want to go with home network. Click on it, home network. Now it will connecting to your network and applying settings. Take few minutes. Finally, our Windows 7 successfully installed on VMware Workstation Pro. Now, if I click on full screen mode, one problem is that we need to install VMware tools. For that, click on this bar inside VM, click on it. Here you can see install VMware tools, click on it. Click on install. Now click on file manager. After open our File Explorer, click on Computer. This is our VMware tools. DVD Drive D, click on it. After getting this autoplay prompt, run setup64.exe, click on it. This is our VMware tools that we are downloaded before from vm top down below vmware tools is requesting your permission click on it now it will display this user account control prompt after open this user account control prompt click on yes you can see vmware product installation running after a long time period we are getting VMware tools set up. Click on next. Click on next with typical. After 
Now we are ready to install VMware tools on Windows 7. Click on install. It will take few minutes. Install VMware tools on Windows 7. Please wait until this setup wizard installation is not complete while our screen mode are already full screen. This is working. We are going to be launched ethical hacking full roadmap with every single part will single video. You can check out our playlist. VMware Tools setup wizard completed. Click on finish button. At the end, you can getting this pop up. It will talking about you can restart your operating system now, or you can do it later. Click on yes or no depends on you. Now I'm going to restart my operating system. Click on yes. Thank you for watching this video.